Good morning. It is Sunday, July 10th, 2022, and we are out on Zealand Trail at the Beaver Ponds. And there's Z Cliff. You can't see the summit of Zealand from here, no. The Z Cliff, he said it was just up on Yeah, it's Z Cliff, yep. Cool. And it's amazing how like overgrown it appears now. Just in like a month and a half or whatever it was. It's about 7.15. And let's see, we left a car at Lincoln Woods around 5.30. And then Marie's husband dropped us off at Zealand. There was plenty of parking both at Lincoln Woods and Zealand. So I was a little bit surprised. No, no moose today, or beavers. <laughs> it's pretty though. Huh? Sure. It's gonna be a great day to do the bonds. Okay, we're an hour in and we're about a tenth of a mile from the hut and this is Zealand Falls. It's looking pretty good. So next stop is gonna be the hut. We're gonna get extra water and go to the bathroom, have a snack, and then we're gonna head up to Z Cliff. All right, we're up on Z Cliff. It's about 8.40 in the morning, and there's uh, Jefferson and Washington behind Tom, and then Field and Willie, White Wall. And there's the Nancy Range, the Kerrigan, the Hancocks. Marie. All right, next stop, Zealand. Oh, I think I just saw a gray jay coming in. This is the summit of Zealand. Marie's 44th. And it is about 8.45. And next thing will be Gio, and then out to yeah, West Bond. Uh, well, we've seen a good amount of people, but it hasn't been crowded. It's beautiful out. I would say it might be 55 degrees, maybe. I mean, it's t-shirt weather. A little cool when it's in the breeze, so I'm sure we'll be adding jackets when we get out to Gio. And I did just see a gray jay somewhere. Okay. Anyway, here we are, Zealand. So we just junctioned with Boncliff Trail. And looking over here, we've got South Twin sticking up right there. And then the ridge of Southwest Twin here. And um, Garfield right there. Franconia Ridge with the Lincoln Slide. My screen is really small and I'm covered with sweat too, so it's hard for me to see, but down in here is Owl's, Owl's Head. And then the two bumps are Flume on the left, Liberty on the right. And this is just another little, this bump looks like so big and it has a huge cairn on it. It's just part of Gio. But, and I'm right, right along the side of Gio here too. And it is beautiful. A little bit of wind but not cold enough to put on a jacket or anything. John has on his sun shirt because he will burn if he doesn't, but other than that, there it is. And it's not that busy. There it is. Oh, and behind Liberty and Flume, especially behind Liberty, is Moose Lock sticking up. Let's see if this guy is going to stay still. It's across the tree. I probably can see it on the video. And he's probably not going to be thrilled as we go by. It's right here. It's about six feet away from me. Thanks for not attacking me. 
He knows where nothing to be she. concerned about. That's a she. Are you sure? It looks like it's got oh, red. Oh, maybe it's a boy. Oh, yeah. I think it's got red. Wow. Isn't that cool? This is the summit of West Bond. There's the summit marker. Karen. Owl's Head in the foreground. Franconia Ridge. Garfield. Southwest Twin. South Twin. And actually down at the base of that slide right there. I'm actually going to use one pole. Out there is Bear Pond. Over here is Geo. There's Bond. And Bond Cliff. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. And the Hancocks. And. Ooh, I'm getting buzzed by black flies. Where's that breeze? Yeah, I'd like to have that breeze right now. Kerrigan. Oh, you can see the slides on Mount Lowell. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here next to Kerrigan. Down here are the tri pyramids. Look at that. No, that's the Osceolas. Sorry, tri pyramids are over that way. This is the Osceolas right in the mid ground, kind of. Yeah. So you can see south, middle, main peak, and then east peak. We came from there. This is out to West Bond. Yep. I go back over there. Lovely. And then up here, looking the other way, is the other bump on, bon on West exactly Bond right awesome. there. No, you have to, you have to Moose behind it. Yeah, you have to, it's a beautiful day. There's 250 feet of prominence at least, but it's good. It's 1 o'clock, and we just finished eating lunch on top of Mount Bond. So over here is the presidentials, obviously. Tom Field Willie in front of it. White wall in front of that right there. And then Z Cliff, I cannot see on my screen, let's see, is, I totally can't see what I'm pointing at. Over there, I think, it's the closest thing there. And then the ridge of Zealand, and Hale is behind that. Geo over in here, South Twin. And behind John and Marie's West Bond, we got Garfield, and then the Franconia Ridge, Liberty, Flume, Whaleback Mountain, Bond Cliff, and then let's see, we've got um, oops, the Osceolas. Right here is Hancock's and Kerrigan. Past Conaway behind the Hancock's. Mount Lowell. Kearsarge North. Yeah, this is looking out to the east. I think that's the bald faces out there. Beautiful. So our next stop is Boncliff, and we are a little bit over nine miles in, so we're not even halfway. But after Boncliff, it's kind of a gentle decline and then flat walk out. So it's a lot of miles of kind of uh, mind numbing walking. So this is the Boncliff Trail, and we're heading off of Bond, heading towards Boncliff. And this is the side of West Bond with all those cool slides on it. And there's Bond up above me. And the trail itself is pretty rocky, this part. And fairly steep if you're coming up it. But man, what views, huh? That's what I'm looking at right now. Straight ahead of me, Lafayette and Liberty, or sorry, yeah, Liberty and Flume. Over there, Lafayette and Lincoln and Lincoln Slide. Ooh, almost, almost slipped. But really, the best view, Bond Cliff. And West Bond. Walking up Bond Cliff. Got a ways to go here. That's an interesting look off to the side here.
footing is a little bit uneven, as you can probably see. But it's not steep, which I'm thankful for. It's gonna be really cool up there. At the top, it's right up there, if you can see it. Right up there. So, it's calm, sunny, a little bit warm, not enough of a breeze to keep the bugs away, but it's not too buggy, so it's a plus and a minus. It's a little breeze. Maybe there'll be some wind up on top. I'm looking forward to the view from up there. That's, that's about as far as I went the first time. Is it recording? So this is Bond Cliff. Yeah. Woo! Don't look down. No. That's, I'm gonna look down with this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Edge of the cliff. All right. All right. Stay right there for a second. Okay. It's kind of like, and there we are, Bond Cliff. We are now a little under three miles from Lincoln Woods Parking, and this is the confluence of uh, Franconia Brook and the East Branch of the Pemi. So the sun is in a bad place, but this is Franconia Brook. And then we've got the bridge that leaves the wilderness, so that's the edge of the Pemi. And now we're gonna no longer be in a wilderness area over here. It is pretty. Almost back. So this is the area that is gonna be closed next year, I think, for repairs, as you can see, maybe. It has super eroded not good so that's going to close this trail for a while awesome so we are less than a mile back to the car less than a half a mile i would say back to the car very beautiful successful day Marie has one hike left to complete her 48, which is Jefferson. And we're going to do it up Caps Ridge. That's the plan. Okay, we are back at Lincoln Woods, crossing the Pami. Officially done. We are... 19 miles in, 12 hours, and it's 6.43, so that's awesome. We did, we did okay. I'm just gonna, ooh, the bridge is moving. There it is, I'm done. Marie's taking her victory photo.